and free from the prison. But God is so gracious that he even saved who was working for the prison. You know, (laughs) he was was getting ready to meet his maker. And Paul said, no, slow down. You can come with us, too. It don't matter. But the reason I say that is because there are a lot of people that we see on a day to day basis that don't come to church or that we know don't go to church. You can tell, you know, And, and we may not like them. They may be the reason that. We don't like our jobs or we don't like the people we're around, but God is here to save them too. You know? Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Amen. That's why it's so important to pray for those that despitefully misuse you. It is so good because God can, he's a handler. How many of y'all know God is a handler? You know, the president got some handlers and you know, singers got handlers and bodyguard. Well, see, you know, the angels, God sent to watch over us, and he stays the hand of our enemies. And then not only that, he will exalt you before him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you both for reading the scripture. They were both so inspiring. We thank you so much. At this time, we are going to have our our announcements. Uh, Sister Brittany, and acknowledgement of our visitors at this time. Thank you. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Lord, thank God for yet another week in the house of the Lord. Kept us all safe. I have a few announcements and then I will get out of the way. So I do have a special announcement. Oak City Church will be having our first ever pastor's appreciation service honoring our pastors and ministers, especially Senior Pastor Bobby Ladd and First Lady Grace. The service will be held right here at Oak City Church on Saturday, November 11th at 4 p.m. And we're also using this occasion to celebrate the church's 65th anniversary. So this will also be a homecoming service. Please mark your calendars and let all former members and anyone else who has been influenced and impacted by the ministers at Pastor B.L. Pitts, Pastor Art Lee Ladd, Sr., and Pastor Bobby L. Ladd know about this special service. And we'll be having flyers, I think, available next Sunday to hand out. Another special reminder that our good friend, Pastor Bob Davis of Covenant Life Church, will be having his anniversary service on October 29th at 3 p.m., Our praise team will be singing at the service, so please mark your calendars and let's show our love and support. For our next two Youth Sundays, uh, Lord willing, we'll be hearing from our very own brother, Ray June. And then also brother CJ Richards on Youth Sunday after that. Um, Please remember our weekly services. Our women's prayer meeting is every first and third Wednesday at 7 p.m. on Zoom. Our Bible study is every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. And our Bible class is every Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. in person and on Zoom. I don't know about the men's fellowship. Would you you like to, Brother Tony, say the men's fellowship? Okay. Okay. Amen. Then I will ask Pastor John, I believe he has a special announcement to come at this time, and then I will continue with the rest of the announcements. Praise the Lord, Saints. Uh, I want to announce um, there is going to be an opportunity, and I don't remember the exact date, which is what I was trying to look for, but um, it's in November. Um, 
there is a discipleship program for those who are in the, of the ages of 18 through 26. Um, and I, I am definitely, my, my daughters, Alyssa and Haley, will be a part of it. Um, it's a three-day program. Um, and it, it's, it's designed just to equip uh, the saints with uh, more skills to evangelize and, 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 and do ministry work. Um, it, it comes from a wind shape. It's called wind shape uh, college program. I'm not good at announcing stuff like this, as you can see, <laughs> but, uh, and, and, uh, everything I've heard about it is positive and good. Um, so, and I, I've done a little bit of research. Um, I'm not going to talk that m much more about the details of it, but if you are interested in that, just talk to me after church. Um, there is a, a, a fee associated with it um, for each individual. Um, and like I said, but if you're interested in, in it, just talk to me after church, uh, ages 18 through 26. All right, praise the Lord. Do we have any birthdays or anniversaries for the month of October? If we do, would you please stand and be recognized? Can you recognize and celebrate you? Just <laughs> I can't tell how many people popped up. I know Brittany stood up. Was there anybody else? Anaya and Hannah. Oh, you man. Well, happy birthday. And do we have any first time guests here at Oak City Church? First or second time guest who would like to stand and give us your name. I think I've recognized everybody, so I'm going to say no. All right. Okay. Well, I believe that concludes our announcements, if there's nothing else. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. There, I have like three different windows open. So <laughs> too hard. Okay. So I did miss some speakers. So our speaker schedule next Sunday. Let's see. The rest of the month. Pastor Girl. The rest of the month. Okay, today is Pastor Durrell, right? Okay, today is Pastor Durrell, amen. Next Sunday will be Minister Ray June. Fifth Sunday will be Minister Harper. And her subject will be, you got what you wanted, but lost what you had. So please come out fifth Sunday to see what that's about. Amen. <laughs> All right. Amen. God is so good. At this time, we're going to ask for our officers to come and ask that you please obey our ushers in the rear. We ask that uh, you get ready for tithes and offerings. This time, you'll now be in the hands of the ushers. Raise your hand if you need an envelope, please.
worthy to be praised. You might ask me when? In the morning, in yes. the evening, in the afternoon, in the midnight hour, when things are going great, when things are going bad, when right. things are going smooth for you and you look like you don't need him, but you do anyhow. So anyway, you know, you can praise him anytime. That's what I just wanted to say. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to ask the praise team to please come. Thank you so much. And I just wanted to read something. The ladies are in Psalm 95. I love the way it begins. It starts with, Oh, come. That's a call, call to us. Those are his, come his on. people. Oh, come. Let us, let us sing unto the Lord. Yeah. Let us. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I don't want to do it by myself. Are you hearing me? Let us. <laughs> Make a joyful noise right. to the rock of our salvation. He is the rock of our salvation. It's because of him we live, we breathe, our house, we have our being. It's because of him he has given us his grace and his faith and his peace to live out this life. So go, come, let us sing unto the Lord and make a joyful noise unto the rock of our salvation. Let us come. I'm going to the third, second verse. Let us make a joyful noise yes. unto him with songs. For the Lord is a great God. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. There is none beside him. There is none above him. There is none behind him. He is the one true living God. And he is the king above all gods. So come. And let us sing unto the Lord our God and the rock of our salvation. Glory on! Yeah! Oh.
and tongue, lift your voice and say, you wanted, but you lost what you had. Yeah. I think we all look forward to that. I'm going to put Pastor Daryl on you. When peace like a river attended my way All right. When sorrows like sea billows roll 
Forever, my life, thou hast taught me to say, yeah. it is well, it is well with my soul. Yeah. It is well, it is well with my soul. With my soul, it is well. It is with, with my soul. And Lord, haste the day when my face shall be silent. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound. And the Lord shall descend, even so it is well with my soul. It is well, well with my soul. With my soul. It is well, well it is well, well with my soul. Listen to this. My sins, oh, the bliss of this glorious thought. All of my sins, not in part, but in whole. They are nailed to the cross, and I bear them no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh, my soul, it is well. It is well. well. It is my soul. It is well. It is well. well. One more time, it is well. It is well. It is well. well. With my soul. My soul, last time as well. It is well. Give somebody a hug. Give somebody a hug. God uh, for so many things today. Uh, thank God for Ray June coming up. From... Every time he comes up, look like it's some work for you to do, man. Last time you had to join the praise team. This time you had to do the drums. Thank God for you. Amen. Amen. By the way, the church is investing. The church is investing in some drum lessons for for some of the, some of the future drummers. So we're gonna. Amen. Get the drum thing worked out. So we have some consistency. So we 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 paid forty dollars for some that were interested in drums to, to, to start learning drums. So we gon' we're gonna have some consistency. Amen. Amen. And uh, thank God for Ray June and uh, pray for the Tylers. Pray for the Tylers. Um, they're on the road, uh, just so faithful, I'll always calling to check in when they're not here. Uh, pray for Reggie Parker, Sherry Baker. Uh, she's traveling. I sent a text to Reggie. Don't know what the situation is with him, but pray for him. Last time he said, just pray for me. So pray for the ones that you don't see here today. Thank God for the OU crew being in the house. Yeah. 
Oh, you didn't play yesterday, but y'all like that USC loss, didn't you? Didn't y'all like that USC loss? <laughs> Amen. Um, and um, I want to introduce our speaker um, today. Um, I thank God that October's been a good month. Uh, we've had Pastor Dale here three times. Amen. And um, it's, just a, it's just a blessing. Um, he is the best man I know, bar none. Um, you know, I don't, I, I, sometimes I just don't introduce him at all because he's been blessed, such a blessing to everybody. But it was just a blessing to have him once again. And, uh, and he just is a, is a man of God. And we have to thank God for all that he does through Pastor Daryl. And without a whole lot of ado, uh, it's just always a blessing to see Pastor Daryl in the state and in the place. Y'all know, 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 everybody love and know Pastor Daryl. Just stand your feet and say, Hallelujah. Let's see Pastor Daryl with a hearty amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me see it. Thank you for uh, joint service so far today. It's been a blessing to me. And um, I'd ask Hillel to, I sang a song last uh, Sunday. It was a hit. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, I want to sing it again, but I saw Hillel, so I thought I'd let Hillel help me. Amen. I just asked her to help me sing it. Can you help me sing it, Hillel? Okay, thank you. I was thought it too, but I thought it was the time. I would use all the talents we have, but amen. God is good. You back me up, okay? Okay. <laughs> In shade of green pasture, so rich and so sweet, God leads his city children along. Where the cool waters flow, there's the very one's feet, God leads his city children along. Some through the water, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Yeah. Some through the sorrow, but God gives us hope in the night season and all the day long. Yeah. Sometimes in the mountain where the sun shines so bright, God leads his sick children along. Sometimes in the valley and darkest of night, God leads his sick children along. Some through the water. Some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some yeah. through great trials, but God gives a song in the night season and all the day long. No sorrows be fathers and evils oppose. God leads his dear children along. Through grace we can conquer, defeat our foes. God leads his dear children along. Some the water. Some 
great sorrow. Yeah. God gives us song in the night season and all the day long. The water some through the flood, some through the sorrows, but God gives the blood some through great sorrows, but God gives us song in the night season and all the day long. In the night season and all the day long. In the night season and all the day long. Amen. Amen. Come through great sorrows. But God gives a song in the night season and all the day long. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. That's all right. You know, I, I think all of us. Thank you, Jesus. Has had or or having a night season. Yes. Yes. And it could be a night season of depression, anxiety, yeah. depression, sickness, sorrow. It's a night season of struggle or trouble. But in that night season, God gives you a song. Yes. And that's a beautiful song because God gives you something to make it through yes. that night season. I want to read. Um, um, pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in Jesus' name. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your mercy, your grace, your love and kindness. So, Lord, we ask you to visit us, Lord, this time to share your word. Speak to our hearts and minds in Jesus' name. Teach us what you want us to know, Lord. Give us what you want us to have and make us to the people of God. You call us to be to your glory and your honor. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to look at two verses, uh, two passages. One, and uh, I didn't know these were the verses, but one that... Uh, Sister Elise read, and one that Brother Jordan read and preached about for a moment. And so, because, and both of those, both of those, there was a night season. And both of those, there was a song. And so look at, and then there's a message for us, because we need to remember what God has given us in that night season. I remember years ago, and I can't remember where it was, but I remember at a church, a Baptist church in New Jersey, and I used to go from church to church, listen to these great preachers when I lived in New Jersey. And, and one preacher, uh, and I know it's in the Bible, I read it several times, he said, God will give you, uh, he gives you treasures, uh, he will give you treasures of the dark, of the darkness. And he said, when you find yourself in the darkness, there's some treasures. I, I, you can go look it up or Google it up or find it. But there's something that God gives you when you go through the night season. And what God gives, is a song. Now look at uh, what uh, Elise read, and I'm going to read the first two verses. And David spake, he didn't say he sang, he spake unto the Lord the words of this song. He didn't say he sang it, he, of a song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of his enemies and out of the hands of Saul. So David was in a war. David was in a battle, and after getting the victory, he just recited the words of a song. The song didn't happen after the victory. The song came in the night season. The song came during the war. Now, how did David get out of this? So uh, I read just now, right before that, and I'm going to go to verse 15 in the previous chapter of 2 Samuel. It says, moreover, the Philistines had war again with Israel, and David went down and his servants with him and fought against the Philistines, and David waxed faint. So all we know right now, this battle that David is singing about, a praising God about in 22, he was faint. He had no strength. He was weak. They had to fight for him, but somehow or another, he recites to them a song. And where could he get this song? The song comes from God. Now, before you go, I'll go over to Psalm 77. 
Just so y'all think, I don't know where that song came from, God or not. Um, song 77, it says, I cried unto God with my voice, even to God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. My soul ran in the night and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. That's what the psalm is saying. Verse 6 in 70, Psalm 77, he says, I recall to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart and my spirit made diligent search. So somehow or another, when he found himself in trouble, he remembered, he had to call to remember that song in the night. Okay, we got one, one, one place to get you. So Job 35. I still don't really, still don't right get it. But uh, go to, now, everyone knows sorrows. Now, if I read, hear the song that Hillel sang, it says that some through great sorrows, some through great sorrows, but God gives them a song in the night season and all the day long. Now, that sounds like a beautiful song, but is it scripturally sound? So, Job 35, we know, you talk about anybody with great sorrows, you have to think about Job. The Job had a problem because Job's friends came and they all had a reason of why Job was going through what Job was going through. They were all wrong. And even Job was wrong. But they all were trying to get to the bottom of why would Job have to go through all this since he was such a righteous man. Then Elihu, uh, and he wasn't one of their friends. He was a young guy sitting there watching everything that was going on. And after they finished, like starting like a few chapters earlier, Job, Elihu said, you know, I didn't say anything. Because y'all are talking, and I'm just a young guy. But let me say something. So then Elihu goes on his rant telling them he had problems with everybody. Had a problem with you, Job, because you think you're all that. I had a problem with y'all because y'all accusing Job. And he says, here's the problem. And Elihu sums up on the problem in verse 35. I think it's a millennial, uh, Ray June. So Elihu says, by reason of a multitude of oppressions, they make the press to cry. They cry out for reason of the armor of Oh my, he said, everybody's going to cry out when they get in trouble. Everyone's going to cry out. He said, here's the problem, verse 10, but none says, nobody says this. Where is God, my maker, who giveth songs in the night? He said, here's the whole problem. If you're looking at all your trouble and the things you're going through, and your trouble and your anxiety and everything that's happened to you, you lose sight of God, then no wonder you're crying out. No wonder you feel like you can't go on because you never stop to say, where is God, my maker, in all this mess? Where is the one who gives me songs in the night? What he's saying is that no matter what you go through, God, your maker, not just gives you songs. God, your maker, gives you songs. That means if he made you, he knows what song you need. He ain't going to try something new on you and something new on you. You have to go back to the manufacturer. He said, you need this song. And this song going to get you through this night season. So David had a song. And he recited the words of that song after the victory. And what were those words again? The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. That sounds like what someone would say when they're faint. It sounds like someone would say when they're hiding out. It sounds like someone would say when they have no more offense but need a defense. I need a fortress right now because I have no strength. I need someone to protect me. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my fortress. The Lord is my deliverer because I cannot deliver myself out of the situation. That's a song. And he sang a song. And then he said the words of the song. And this is what God gives us in our night seasons. Now I take, I take Brother Jordan, who read about Paul and Silas. They were in prison. But when he read it, he said that uh, at midnight, they were praying and, and singing praises. They were singing a song. I don't know what the song was. But when they were singing a song in prison at midnight in the night season, I believe that that song came from God. I don't know what the words were, but something gave them confidence and assurance in the night season that God was still with them. And God give that to us no matter where we are. Whatever season you're going through, as dark as it may be, God gives a song. God, your maker, gives you a song in the night. It's up to you to sing it. It's up to you to write it. It's up to you to remember what that song is. And we don't know why we might have a song sometime that God gives us 
preparing us for the night season. The song may come during the day. And I may sing it during the day. But God may give it to you for when you come to your night season. And I say this because when actually this month, 30 some years ago, when my oldest son, DJ was in the hospital. He, he was born premature in July. He was supposed to be born in October, but he was born premature. And so he's this one pound, 15 ounce baby, and all kinds of things are going on with him. He got a two pound, and everything would seem to be going, progressing, and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But one day we were having, it was Sunday, and we were at church on these parks, and there was no message. No preach message that day. But the service was just taken over by one song. And the song was, Jesus Never Fails. And the, and the whole church was, Jesus Never Fails. Jesus Never Fails. And it was the whole song. I did not know that song was for me. But I sang that song. And I, and I embraced that song. But I didn't know what was going to happen next. But the day, the day we left, that month we left the church, we went to the hospital. And the nurse and the doctors came running towards me and said, we figured out why your son stopped breathing and his heart stops all the time. It was sleep, some apnea, bradycardia. They said it's because they showed me the little x-ray. They said because this thing right here between his heart and his lungs needs to be stitched. And, and normally it goes away with a full term break, but born at 26 weeks, it never takes time. So what we're going to go in is going to put a little staple there and stitch it. And then what? And then his heart would stop stopping all the time. And he would stop, stop breathing all the time. But we need to go in and do this. And I thought, I don't, well, and I, well, let me tell you something. Every baby that doesn't have this dies. I said, every baby? Every baby that doesn't get this surgery dies. But all I knew is that Jesus never failed. I said, well, I, I don't know about that. We need to do the surgery tomorrow morning. I don't know about that. We need to do the surgery early Monday. I don't know about that. I need to pray about it because I know Jesus never failed. That's my song. Jesus never failed. So we came back on Monday and I said, well, we don't really want to do this surgery, but you got to do it. And I know Jesus never failed. I said, okay, go do it. So they took him down to do the surgery, and we prayed. Jesus never failed, and they came back about 30 minutes later. And I, we couldn't do the surgery because his plates were too low. And if we cut him, he would bleed to death. I said, oh, Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. So this surgery couldn't take place. But we're going to do it. Tuesday, his plates were still low. They gave him some blood. Then we're doing the surgery on Wednesday. OK. They take him on Wednesday. We still praying. They come back again 30 minutes later. I say, what? The place is still, no, no. The thing is gone away. Everything is fine. Jesus never failed. I mean, so it took three days, but God said, I got this thing. But he had already given me the song that Jesus never fails. And then, and only then, did the social worker come up to me and say, Mr. Land, let me tell you one thing. She says, you know that surgery? I said, yeah, they said everybody that didn't have a surgery, the baby died. She said, yeah, but another thing they didn't tell you is every baby that did have the surgery died. I said, so you mean to tell me that he was going to die regardless? She said, yes. He was going to die if he had the surgery. He was going to die if he didn't have the surgery. Well, that tells me that God got this thing. Jesus never failed. And if they told me that, I would have still run to the same thing, that Jesus never fails. And he doesn't fail. That's my song. So the day we brought him home from the hospital, you had the little camera, the video camera. So you got the video and said, okay. Okay, we're going to video him coming home. In the background, I played the song. So many souls have tested him throughout the course of time. So many still reach out to him with broken hearts and mind. And every one of them will say, with no exception that I find, that Jesus never failed. Jesus never failed. That's the song the whole time. 
And it's not just for that one season. It's for that season, and the next time I have a dark night, it's for that dark night too. I play the same song in my heart and in my mind that Jesus never failed. It was more than just that one event. Because I'll have many night seasons. And my Bible says that weeping may endure for a night. Just one night. And it may. Just one night. I may weep for one night. Give me my 15 minutes, okay? I'm going to cry. And I might have most of a night, but I ain't crying all nights. Just so you know. I might weep that night, but I'm going to go right back to this rock, to this fortress, to this trust in God. But give me my time first to get over this. And I know Jesus never fails. And I will have joy at midnight. I will sing praises at midnight. Those poems I'm singing praises. That means I'm thanking God for what God has done or is doing. There's joy in the praise, but it's still in my night season. And the morning comes. But you know, I, sent, I took some pictures a couple of weeks ago as friends uh, lost someone in their family. And I just took a picture of the sun rising over the ocean. It was dark when I sit there. But you know, it was morning. And I said, it's 5.50. It's morning, but it's still dark. But it was morning. And God declares morning. So while it was still dark, we've been may endure for a night, but joy coming in the morning. Joy was already there, but it was still dark, but it was morning. But give it a little time, and the sun popped up. And I took the preacher's center to him and said, the sun still rose because the sun rose. And so your light will come, even if it's dark. It's declared morning because God calls the morning to happen. And he gives you a song to make it all night long. So like the song where it says, says he gives you a song in the night season and then all the day long, keep singing the same song during the daytime what God gave in the night. And so that's just the only message that I know God gave me a song. You got a song to get you through this season. You cried already. That's done. Done. And now sing that song while it's dark. Go ahead and sing that song that God gave you and keep singing it. And it's not just for you. It's for everybody to come after you. Pastor Bobby sang the song, uh, It Is Well. Horatio Staff wrote their song after lost his family, drowned, shipwreck, and penned that song for him. And people still sing it. They snatch his song and sing it. It is well with my soul. It was well with his, well with mine. You can take someone else's song if you have to. God give these things for the whole body. And sing those songs, get you through your season, whatever it is. Take mine. Jesus never failed. That may be a good one for you. Take it. Because <laughs> you're wondering how's it going to end up? Will it happen this way? Or is there any there is no failure in God? Zero. All the doctors have, hey, this one only lost one case. I haven't met one doctor that said I've never lost a person. I haven't met one lawyer that said I've never lost a case. I haven't met one. And that doctor said, I've never had a what they call it, what do they call it? Been an adverse patient. What do you call it? Adverse person. Incident, yeah. I don't want to say die. Just adverse patient incident. Cleaned it up a little bit. But all of them had some adverse patient incidents. This one, your God, <laughs> he's never had adverse. Everybody came through. I started with 100, I'm coming through with 100. And you want to hear it. So if you're a child of God, like Pastor Bob said, you know how the story's going to end. You know how to think you win. Sing your victorious song. Why are you going through it? Sing the victory. And that should mean something for all of us who are children of God. But if you're not a child of God, you're going to think, well, I wish I could sing it. I wish I had that same assurance. Well, you don't. You shouldn't have it unless you've given your life to Christ. Unless you're a child of God. Because the song said God leads his dear children along. Everybody else ain't his children. But if you're not his, this means nothing to you. But it can mean something to you this day. 
because you can become a child of God just that you can become one of his and he'll give you this his, your own song in your own key you already have a song just as I am Here's your song just as I am without one plea Lord how does it go I come to thee that's your song come to Jesus you can do that today if you're not saved if you're not saved you say well I got this and that that's right you could come to Jesus today. You could be saved today, become the child of God. And as God leading you along, do great songs that you're gonna have, do great trials you're gonna have, you give your song in your night season. You can sing it all night and all day long and for the rest of your night seasons, all your life long. So I think today's message is, look at what God has done already in life. I ain't asked you to go write a song, but God has given you a song already. This whole, you read the book of Psalms, those are all songs, right? All, uh, 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 that's what they are, songs, right? They're all songs, singing them. And when were they written? Many times when David was on the run, hiding off in a cave, Philistines on, they, he's been captured. Life is thick, hiding out. Lord is the strength of my life. He captured my enemies. When the enemies come in there as a flood, the Lord will lift up his hand. All these thoughts God gave him. He was come out of all these things alive. Not once did you ever read that David was hit with a spear? Remember hit there? You ever think that he was gonna die? Not one, all these times? Not one spear hit him and they had to get surgery on his arm? Not one time? Did he have to like bring him back to life and put him in the hospital? Not one time was he even hit with a rock. The Lord is my fortress. Protected him. And he wrote songs about it. You write songs about what God has done for you in your life. And it's not just for you, but it's for the people who come behind you. That's our obligation. So what God has given you, he's protecting you. You've got a song already. I know it's night, but you already have a song. So sing your song. I can show us. That's my opinion. Amen. Amen. Come on, Pastor John. You're going to have the final words and dismiss us. Um, we just we just come around the altar. I don't know if anybody needs special prayer. Thank God for this word uh, today. Um, I don't know if there's a song on your heart or not, but we're going to come for prayer. Thank the Lord for Jesus. Thank God for his word. It's, it's, it's been a blessed month. I thank God for the words I've heard. This, uh, this has been a blessed month. Pastor John spoke to us the uh, first Sunday of this month. Pastor Darrell um, came two Sundays in a row. Isn't that a blessing? From Even though he lived in Florida, God allowed. <laughs> Next Sunday, we hear from Ray June. On the fifth Sunday, we're going to hear, you got what you wanted, but you lost what you had. I just thank God for the food uh, we're getting. Um, this message today, everyone wants to take heart. The, the service was so connected today. Um, Pastor Earl tried the scripture, Jordan read. Jordan didn't even know he was going to read the scripture. Uh, I snuck up to Mr. Harper and said, put Jordan, make him read. I knew he could, I knew he could respond on the spot. Um, and uh, speaking of Jordan, I do have to mention that um, it looks like if things go the way they're going, um, so, um, so next, first, this youth Sunday, uh, on Minister Ray June, of course, we're speaking next youth, uh, another, next youth, next uh, November, another youth veteran, uh, Pastor C.J. Richards, <laughs> doctor, Reverend Doctor. He can't run from the gift God's given him, he, yeah, but uh, he's going to be speaking. And then uh, uh, in December, the first 10 minutes going to go to Jelani. It's gonna be. We and, and we got another ten minute youth speaker that we haven't confirmed the the availability and willingness yet, but uh, we tend to have two great June. I've been scheming, so uh, I'm I'm just the same for what God is doing, and, and we want all the gifts to be exercised. We see so much. The pastors talk all the time. We see such and such and so and so and such and such and so and so, and 
sister so-and-so was such a blessing to hear testimony. And so we, um, we thought, and I just thank God for what he's doing uh, today, though. I was thinking about this word. This word, was, this service was so integrated. Um, and uh, even this morning, you know, we were talking about God leads his children along in Sunday school. You know, we had no idea it was going to end up the way it started. We started this morning, but we closed out uh, Sunday school. God leads his children. He got us, you know. And it tells me what I gather from this is that times are going to reach a point where we got to recognize, you know, God got us. Amen. You know, God got us. Amen. We're going to remind ourselves. Um, the Bible says about the last days, it's going to get so bad, even the elect, if the days weren't shortened, the elect would be deceived. That's how bad it's going to get. And, 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 and because of iniquity, shall be, it's going to get so bad, the love of men shall wax cold. You're going to walk away and say, I, I, just, I just can't. When I was in college, I uh, witnessed to this guy, and uh, he uh, said he came to Christ, and he did. Um, but then after that, he got really sick, um, really sick. And uh, the doctor told him the condition wasn't going to go away. And uh, he came back to me and said, you know what? Uh, Ever since I came to Christ, uh, things got worse and worse and worse. And I basically told God, you, you just, y'all just leave me alone. You, you and your buddy. Talk about Satan. Y'all just, y'all, I'll just go back to where I was. And uh, we talked. And, of course, he's a man of God today. You know, he's, he came through that. Uh, <laughs> but you, you have to know being a believer doesn't exempt you from sometimes in the valley in the darkest of night. God still leads. Come here, come here, Brianna. Can I, can I? I gotta have a mic here. Can you work? Can I do it? Oh, it's not a cordless. How to make a cordless. Do I have a cordless here somewhere? This is a city station. This one? Yeah, I'm sure. There you go, sure. Thank you. Yeah, this, this, is, this is the only one I need both. I need both? Okay, I need both. Okay. 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 Sometimes it's all good. It's all good, man. It's all good. You need God just blessing you and getting them grades. The money's coming in. Financial aid coming in on time. It's all good. God leading his children along. But sometimes, grab her hand. Sometimes your bill is due. You ain't got no resources. So many days, my determination. You got don't come back to class. <laughs> Do I have a witness, Brittany? Where's Brittany? Do I have a witness. Your bill ain't paid. Can't come back to class. What happens? God leads the children alone. I told her when we didn't have the money to, for her to go to class. I said, "Go to class anyway, baby. Just act like God gonna make a way." She went and got her notes, took a lesson. And finally, said, "Baby, they came to us. Said, baby, you're not enrolled. We, you can't come to class." I said, "Baby, don't go anymore. God, God got you." Before the week was out, God paid the bill. Yeah. And she had access. God leads the children along. If we could all do this collectively, that verse that says. Sometime in the valley, in the darkest of night, God leads his dear children along. Sometime on the mountain where the sun shines bright, God leads his dear children along. Some of us. Some through the fire, some through the blood. Some through great trial, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, but God gives us some in the night season. And all in the night season. In the night season. And all the day. Pastor John, final remarks and pray for us. Let's just keep holding hands. We're going to stand right here. Grab somebody's hand. Grab somebody's hand. Pastor John, final remarks and pray us out.
Thank you, Lord. Those that are not here to represent all this body, God, I ask that you bless them, Thank you, protect them, keep them, heal them. Jesus, we need your healing, we need your restoration. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we are your children. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> we are your children. Yes, Lord. <laughs> we are your children, God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We are your children, God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We are your children. Thank you, Lord. Our Father. Thank you, Lord. Our Father. Thank you, Lord. Our Father. Thank you, God. Which art in heaven. Our Father, which art in heaven. Thank you. Hallowed be your holy, Thank you, precious, amazing Thank you, Jesus. name. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 There you go. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for your beautiful, willing spirit, young man. Thank you. Uh, so, that is my so, Um I need to take minutes, the mic off. Um, Jelani is going to speak. Mm -hmm.